at all that we live in a modern world and here to help us adjust to that modern world, at least the etiquette side of things, from uh, the days of Emily Post to the current times of Facebook, Thomas P. Farley is here. We know him as Mr. Manners. Well, Mr. Manners. So when we talk about modern manners, what does that mean? Sure. So we are surrounded by devices wherever we go, between the phones, the computer, social media. We're, we're being encroached upon when it comes to trying to be graceful and be the present person that you want to be when you're around others. Sure. So manners are under siege by technology. Exactly. So uh, I, there's a struggle between when it's appropriate to text and what you're texting versus picking up a phone and talking to somebody. Where's the line for you? What's appropriate texting material topics. Sure. Well, the irony here is that although phones ostensibly are to, use, to be used to, be communi to communicate, we're actually using them for everything but talking. So we're texting, yeah. we're web surfing, we're posting to social media. So the idea is a text is great for a quick burst of information, but if you really need to have a conversation, have the conversation because texting has no tone. So you really yeah. can take a text the wrong way. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but if I'm reaching out to somebody and I, was, I get to like the fourth ring and I'm like, Oh, I'm gonna get the voicemail. I just know it, yeah. and I have to. Do you feel that way? Yeah. yeah. You're just like now. I gotta wait for their. Oh, you know, yeah. Then I hang up and I text. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 they know you called. So. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about voicemail. Is it even around anymore? I, mean, I think it is. But. Well, it, it is, but certainly it's something that people don't like, especially for the millennial generation. Voicemail is something that they don't use, they don't leave message, and they right. don't listen to messages. Right. Yeah. I've I got friends. Yeah, yeah. I get yeah. yelled at because my voicemails fill. I think Seth, our producer, is always like, your voicemails fill. I'm like, I know because I don't want to listen. <laughs> like, <laughs> I keep up. Yeah. Why is it necessary when you're at a restaurant with somebody for people to bring your phone to the table when you're having dinner with someone? If someone True. is going to be paying for my meal, I I don't want to be rude and be on my text and vice versa if I'm paying for their meal and it's like if you want to go be with that person why don't you just go and come back and talk to me when you can so true. why yeah. isn't that rude to have phones at the table Absol absolutely okay. Christina so that you've got a bunch of things going on here first of all people love tweeting and Instagramming what they're eating so the phone is coming out for taking pictures <laughs> yeah. while yeah. you're at the meal okay. yeah. We all also feel that we need to be reachable at any given moment, whether it's by a babysitter, or the boss, right. a client, that if we're not reached in that exact moment, that we're gonna cause problems. So there's that. And then there's the attention span. So our attention spans have gotten so short right. Right. that now if we're not constantly stimulated, we reach the phone, reach for the phone as a way of getting stimulated again. Yeah. Can we talk about posting pictures? I realized just recently that both my children have Instagram accounts. You didn't know? I didn't know that. Oh, wow. yeah. But you know, oh, this, found this that out. Yeah. But every, yeah, it is. Is common and there and so now I am very much navigating that scene <laughs> and staying on top of it but how often is posting and what should they be doing? What's the etiquette of stuff sure, like that? Sure, sure. Well, Mark, I'm sure what you're finding is that your kids are not on Facebook because young people do not like or use Facebook because their parents are on it. Mm. So Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, that's the new They're platform. from Snapchat. Ex Snapchat, yeah. exactly. Snapchat, I Snapchat. hate that because it's yeah. only a second and then it's gone. But what is, I mean, there are people who are posting four, five, six times a day or to... Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're we're living in the culture of selfie. We've seen the selfie stick, which I, I live in Manhattan. I've seen people walking around. It's ridiculous. You're bumping into people oh while you're trying gosh. to take a picture of yourself. Wow. Yeah, yeah. so to send to the person you just I've bumped into. I've seen people walk yeah. into cabs in New York City because their faces are down, looking. It's it's just like driving and texting. You're walking True. and texting. Yeah. You fall off of curbs. You walk into people. You walk into cars. Right. I mean, I, I, I'm. I'm just you can't I'm even so, speak I can't no I'm I I just think we we've, we've lost communication when you pick up you send somebody a thank you note write the thank you note or call the person right. let them hear you on the phone to me that's being polite is it not the personal touch is so Help. important. I, yeah, I, you know, like we said at the top of the program, people over pixels. So when you are with somebody, give that person your full attention and not the device. It's well, really rude. Okay, well, I have a question actually about that exact thing because I was always taught you you respond, you RSVP, and you thank someone in the method that you were. So if you're invited by a written invitation, you RSVP in a written, and you right. do a written thank you. If you get called for dinner, you call and say yes, and you call and say thank you. So a lot of invitations are on Facebook or you get an evite. So the RSVP is often in that but right. then afterwards is it okay to text or email a thank you I is that seem rude. okay or do you still need to write one i don't think it's so rude because if you if you go out to dinner with somebody and you're spending that's just me I, but I, if they, no, but if they invited I'm you I'm sorry. if they invited you via yeah. evite yeah. can you not just they invited you electronically no, can you respond well, so, oh, if i took you out for uh, well, go ahead, you talk. i'm sorry i'm sorry you're the guest i'm so sorry this is a hot button issue with me so i apologize no no please not at all so ken here's the thing 
you <laughs> want to be invited back to the party, you want to stand out from all the other guests, you do that with a thank you note. So what yeah, I would recommend, do the day after phone call, and then follow up with a real handwritten thank right. you to school. Christina. Take yeah. it old school. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. That will be that will set you apart from everybody else who was there. Right. What about people who break up over text? Oh, oh. well, you should never speak to them ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that is I guess that it doesn't matter. Right. Right. or not, you're breaking up with them. That but you hear so this rude. all the time. People are like, yeah, I broke up with me over text. <gasps> or wow. changing relationship status on Facebook <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> without exactly. informing the person Social you're in the relationship. Yeah. yeah. Horrible. Yeah. yeah. Not acceptable. No, not acceptable at all. And posting photos, don't you think they should ask your permission before they post your photo? Um, there's a setting though, no, right? That you can you can set it so that no one can tag you in a photo on for Facebook and stuff, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. So, so so what I like to do if I've taken a photograph of somebody, I will email it to that person, say, hey, I love this shot. I hope you do too. Is it okay if I put it on Facebook? Exactly. That's yeah. Nice. That's what I try Give to us do. a final thought nice. for the people living in this age. Sure. So so here's the thing. It's not about the technology. The technology itself is not bad. It's about how we use it. So we can't blame and not. It's not about the twenty somethings either. It's about all of us, we're all doing it, yeah. right. so it's important to take a step back, be mindful, and remember the importance of people.